Hi everyone. My name is Cheryl Williams and I'm the author of the book, A Collection of Poems, A Journey Through Life. I'm truly blessed to be able to come to you guys today to speak with you guys a little bit and to read a little bit from my book, especially during these stressful, frustrating times that we're dealing with. I'll read a few poems and I will, you know, just talk a little bit about them and see how I can help to encourage and uplift you guys. Like I said, we're all in this together. I would like to start out my reading with the poem, The Way Home. Burnt with life's woes, she struggles down this deserted road all alone. The stresses of life overwhelm her soul. Regrets of past mistakes, torments and terrorizing pain. Tear-filled eyes, swollen with lasting effect of shame. Blue blood of despair boils in her veins. Caught up in this depressive mode, blinded on a road filled with woes. Not knowing that every trial is not a curse and good things fall apart, allowing better things to unfold. And even though at times life might seem cold, the hardships and disappointments in life have set her up for a part of hope. Her eyes open to her purpose, her goals. Now she can see her destiny clearly as she struggles down that deserted road. So sometimes in life, we, we are faced with the impossible as we are now. But when we're faced with the rough times, when it seems like everything else is falling apart around us, when it seems that we are hopeless and we can't change the outcome, we must hold on to one positive that would get us through. I know a lot of times when we're going through things, we keep it to ourselves, but we must let it out. We must find someone that we feel we can talk with. Like I said, we're all dealing with this situation right now, with the pandemic, with the quarantine, with the virus, the silence. Tears streaming down her face. A flicker of light shone through, only for a fleeting moment, leaving as quickly as the dew. Today is another one of those days, the endless darkness with no end game. Days morphed into nights with no differentiating lines of the vanishing time. The absence of hope with relentless pain lacking authority to end this tirade. The cold, hard rocks serve as a pillow. Life dragged her down so low. The rocks are her co-mates. If it wasn't for the rocks, she would go insane. The rocks are her co-mates. We must find our rock, whatever that rock may be for us. Doing something that you love, once loved, whether it means reaching out to a friend, some people the rock might be prayer. Whatever your rock is, whatever brings you, whatever makes you feel empowered, hold on to that rock. As we struggle to get through these uncertain times, we all need to find a rock. We must stay grounded. I would now like to read to you the poem, Positive Energy. A combusted world of loss and sadness, diffused with kindness and laughter. Hatred spreading on life's lawn like stubborn dandelions, encounters the weed killer of love and compassion. When anguish and pain seems eternal, 
Comforting arms prove immortal. Life's revolving doors of uncertainty meets an unfettering escape of positivity. When naked negativity pursues you, surround yourself with life's blanket of positive energy. Trust me, I know it's hard to remain positive when everything is falling apart around you. But what are the alternatives? Worrying changes nothing. Worrying and stressing about a situation that we have no control over would not change the, the situation. Worrying creates more problems. You might say it's easier said than done. But like I said, what are our options? If worrying doesn't change the situation, then why worry? We must find ways to get through this. We must find ways to get through this. The more we focus on the negative, the more negative the situation becomes. We have to find a positive and hold on to that. That's our rock. That's where our power lies. Regardless of how dire the situation may be, there's always something to be thankful for. Being alive. You know, I just recently dealt with the virus, the coronavirus, and I'm sitting here thanking God that I'm, I'm alive. That's my positive. And that's my testimony that I'm alive. I made it through. I would now like to share with you the poem, Shine. Never allow the darkness to swallow you up. Shine your luminous light. Don't allow the vastness to perpetuate your fears. Shine your luminous light. Never let circumstances destroy your faith. Shine your luminous light. Even though life seems hopeless, never let circumstances destroy your faith. Faith is believing that things will change. Faith is believing when you don't see a way out. We must keep believing for a better tomorrow. We must hold on to a positive and keep pressing forward. Optimism. At times we're faced with challenges that seem too much to bear. No matter how tough the road gets, there's always someone there. So look a little closer. See the one that he sent you. The universe is listening. It will take care of you. So don't become discouraged. This hopelessness shall pass. Life is still worth living, regardless of our past. Optimism. You might say, I've lost my job. My loved one is in the hospital. I'm worried about them. My kids are driving me nuts because they're home from school and I, I don't know what to do. I can't pay my bills because I don't have a job. What is there to be optimistic about, you might say. But you're still alive, right? And those children that's driving you crazy, they're healthy, right? And so we need to focus on the positive. Yes, we are dealing with a lot. Some of us lost our jobs. Some of us lost loved ones. Some of us had to fight for our life because we became sick with the coronavirus. Some of us don't know what tomorrow holds, but we are still alive, right? And where there's life, there's always hope. So we have to find and hold on to the positive, the rock. It might seem hard to be optimistic in the midst of all this negativity. Use this time to spend with family. Use this time to do something that you won't have time normally to do because you were so busy with work and running around. The next poem is called A Turning Point. Struggling down a deserted road of life. A fair-filled journey riddled with twists and turns. 
stress and heartaches of impending storms, nerves on earth with regrets of past wrongs, eyes swollen shut, minds entrapped in a zone, a depressive mode with no way out, no relief from the hurt and doubt, tormented and torn, at a point of no return, blinded by the stressors of this world. In the midst of it all, she beholds the beauty, the sun peeking through the clouds. Among the chaos and confusion, a glimmer of hope, a feeling of knowing that no matter how rugged the road gets, there is always a light at the end of the stretch. Don't feel like you're all alone. We understand the pain, the loss, the frustration, the anger, the sadness. We feel it. Remember, we're all in this together. During these uncertain times, we are dealing with our own stressors, but we're all in this together. We all understand what it feels like to be locked away, what it feels like to be uncertain. If you're feeling something, say something. Look a little closer and see the one that he sent you. There's always someone there. We just have to reach out. We can't just keep it to ourselves. If we don't tell someone what you're dealing with, they won't know. You have to find that rock. One of my favorite poems in my book, I tend to read it whenever I do reading because I feel like it applies to pretty much every area of life. This poem is called Hero. When life's problems seem bigger and tougher than you, your attitude will determine if you will get through. When obstacles consume and intimidate you, your commitment is needed to get you through. When you're terrified, bewildered, and discouraged with life, don't ever give up. Keep your eyes on the prize. Whatever curveball life throws at you, keep pressing forward. Find the hero in you. The hero, the stronger, braver person that lives inside each and every one of us. Now is the time to find that hero. I feel so fortunate to be able to come to you guys today and read a little with you. I hope that in some way that I was able to help to encourage you and uplift your spirits. In closing, I would like to read the poem, Life's Journey. Consumed by anger, frustration, and hurt. Approaching the infamous crossroads of life. Saturated with bends and curves. Filled with unpredictably suffocating, undeniably overwhelming complexities. Ignorant of the surprises the dawn might bring. Do the journey of life is flexuous. We must never let the fear of the unknown possess us to run and hide, succumbing to its demise, capturing and paralyzing our body and mind, denying us the amazing opportunity to fully live our lives. Life's bends and curves aren't meant to destroy, but to challenge, motivate and elevate us to the amazingly successful human we were all created to become. What we're dealing with right now is unfortunate. It has changed our lives on so many levels. We are angry. We are frustrated. We are speechless. We are hopeless. We cannot continue to hold on to the negative. Storms can't last forever. Neither can the darkness. The sun will soon rise again. 
Thank you so much for listening and God bless.